Hi. I just finished watching In the Mood for Love. Uh, this was directed by Car Wei Wan. Uh, this came out in the year 2000. It's um, a Hong Kong Chinese uh, movie. Stars a couple of my, with some of my favorite Chinese actors, Tony Long and Maggie Chan. Um, this movie, hauntingly beautiful. I've seen one other movie directed by this uh, director, and it was called uh, 2046. And again, what he likes to do is take the love story on a whole different level. This movie is about a couple, two couples, that move into an apartment building together. Um, throughout the movie, slow sort of hints of external affairs and cheating and stuff like that. Eventually, the main... The, the husband of the one couple and the wife of the other couple assumes that the other is cheating, so eventually they start talking to each other. So Tony and Maggie aren't actually uh, together at the beginning. Near the end, though, they slowly start to get together, but besides the point, it's hauntingly beautiful. The music was amazing. Uh, there's scenes where there's absolutely no talking, and it's just the, the reactions and the connections between the two characters are amazing these they both work together in a bunch of other movies and you can tell they have great chemistry together on screen uh imdb's rating for this movie is an eight i too give it an eight i picked this one up at the library even though i have on hold a uh, pre-order actually uh the criterion blu-ray of this which i'll hopefully be getting in the i believe it comes out in october Upsetting that I couldn't watch it, the Criterion version for this, but at least I was still able to see this movie. Uh, this was confusion because on my list it says uh, this. On the list I posted on the net, it says uh, His Girl Friday. So again, I watched In the Mood for Love. Uh, I definitely recommend this. Pick it up. Check it out. It was a really, really good movie. Thanks.